glasses today. Why? Because if you look smart, you act smart. This is what it looks like when Trinity's reading for her homeschooling. It's about 11.30 in the morning. I'm working on my iMovie tutorial right now. I'm making a new version because the last one I made, I released it and then about two or three weeks later, Apple came out with a new version of iMovie. So my old tutorial doesn't apply anymore. So I need to update the whole thing. So what I do is I go through the help files, the iMovie help files, and I take a bunch of notes, then I practice using everything, and then I create a tutorial around it. So that's what I'm working on right now. Lunch today for me is leftover doll. This is doll from a couple nights ago, and it's leftover. Doll is one of my favorite things to eat and to make. Trin, what are you having today for lunch? A quesadilla. A quesadilla. Earlier you called it a dang quesadilla, mm -hmm. quoting Napoleon Dynamite, which I think is awesome. Trin, explain this homeschool experiment that you have going on here, okay? Okay, so what I did is I took three glasses and filled them with water. This one's just normal water. This one has normal sugar. water, and that gra that's a grape there. Yeah, the yeah. grape sunk down to the bottom. Bottom of the glass. Yeah, and that's just normal water. And then uh, that one's sugar water, and since sugar water has more density than a grape, it's more dense. That automatically makes the grape go up. It floats to the top. Look at yep. that. That's crazy. And then that one is both sugar water and normal water. Picked up Blake. Now we have about 20 minutes to kill, so we're gonna go to Starbucks and chill for a little bit. Yeah, 20 minutes. It's just enough time for a frappuccino. So my dad and I just got back from Starbucks, and I had what's called a caramel brulee frappuccino. I'm pretty excited right now because I just finished going through all the help files for iMovie, read through every page, and now all I have to do really is practice a little bit more with iMovie, make sure I'm 100% comfortable with everything. I'll probably start recording. It's a three-day weekend, so Monday the kids are off school, so I'll probably start recording on Tuesday next week. So it'll probably take me two or three days to record five, six videos a day, and maybe I can have the whole course ready to go by the following weekend. I don't know. <laughs> We're having baked potatoes for dinner tonight, pretty simple, but we need a nice green leafy type of side. So what I'm gonna do is we have this spinach. I'm gonna make a sauteed spinach thing and the recipe I'm gonna use is from this really great vegan cookbook called Veganomicon, fantastic stuff. And there's a sauteed spinach recipe we're gonna use in there. It has like onions and garlic along with the spinach and tomatoes, delicious stuff. And that'll go well with these Baked potatoes, these aren't baked yet. They will be soon. That'll be a nice Friday night dinner for the family. Of course, uh, the ladies are gone at danced right now, so I wanna make sure it's something substantial that fills them up when they get back. You know what I should do? I should take a ride over there and sneak some footage of them dancing without them even knowing I'm coming. That's what I should do. Okay, the studio where Trinity and Noel dance is called USA Youth Fitness Center. They got cheer, tumbling, and dance. Let's go see if we can get a minute with them. One of my favorite things about this studio number three is Trinity is on the wall right there. Look at that, isn't that a great shot? <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get a couple dance moves on video. I came to Walmart to get some popcorn tonight, Survivor night, Friday night. Notice no butter, that's very important. Because Blake can't have popcorn, he has braces, he can't have popcorn, so we get popcorn for the family and we get junior mints. So we'll get him some junior mints, we'll just get him a little box of them. Okay, so you just did a quick revision, let's hear the new version of your introductory paragraph in your essay. Okay, uh, Code Talker essay introduction edited. Um, uh. Code Talker is a great novel written by Joseph Br Brujak. I will be comparing events that happen in the, in the story with items you can buy, uh, buy on shelves of Walmart. These are items I will be including. An art, um, the colon, colon, um, an RC car, handcuffs, boots, kid size pool, pool, language textbook, toy boat, cactus seeds, water gun, bus, six pack of coke, and toy ghastly Pokemon. I will use these items to represent events in the story. Nice, I like that. That's a good introductory paragraph. Nicely okay. done. Five sentences. Yeah, good job. Chaos. 
Yummy sauteed spinach. Love it. Perfect side dish. Ladies, Hello. they're home from <laughs> dance. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, we're all here for dinner at the same time. Trinity, hello. hello. What are we having? Pota baked potatoes and oh. spinach with tomatoes and onions. Nice, delicious. And Aiden and Blake getting up to go. Sriracha shot out of the bottle when I opened it. Oh, he's trying to find napkins. Okay. Sriracha. Odd man out. Over at Todd Hanna, Aris thought he was in control. I know these will come with us. That was a fun Friday night watching Survivor with the family, and now we're off to bed. Talk to you soon.